In 2000, I was working for the Wall Street Journal online. Uh, the dot-com bubble burst, and I had to really assess my life. I wanted to get involved with something more meaningful. Our current energy use and the current global system cannot support 7 billion people. So we have to do things differently. At the same time, we have to use the world's best technologies. Botswana is best known for diamonds, big game, sunshine and desert. Trees are few and far between in many places, yet 80% of the people here use scarce firewood for their energy needs, depleting the country further of its natural resources. Crosby Menzies from Solar Cookers for Africa is on a mission to change all of that. I got into solar cooking when visiting schools around the country and watching the way that they prepared the food using firewood. I'd seen the technology in Zambia and I just thought this is an absolute no-brainer. Here is a way for people in Africa to cook at no cost, making no emissions and it's completely clean and sustainable. Menzies is thinking big and has embarked on an ambitious journey through Africa already visiting Zambia, South Africa, and now Botswana, spreading the gospel of solar energy one community at a time. I like the idea of a continent where the sun comes up and millions of dishes are faced towards the sun to do the daily cooking. The United Nations Environmental Program reports that Africa is losing nearly 10 million acres of forest every year, twice the world's average deforestation rate. This is not from clear cutting by timber companies. It is due to the overuse of wood for home cooking fires like this one. The people that are collecting firewood are the same people who really are not on a financial system. So they do not have a lot of money and resources available to them. No matter how cheap we make the cookers, we still can't reach the people that we really need to reach. And therefore we need funding in order to be able to do that. Solar cookers, they reduce emissions by the simple fact that food cooked on a solar cooker doesn't require firewood which releases emissions which then makes the solar cookers eligible for carbon financing. Aside from government and private support, a recent international agreement called the RED system has made it easier for projects like Menzies to tap into the carbon markets for funding. We've been working in carbon trading mechanisms whereby we're able to put our solar cookers into communities that's financed through the carbon markets. The solar dishes focus light from the sun onto a pot, and Menzies believes the systems are easy enough for anyone to use. Solar cookers come in a box that you can carry on the back of a bicycle. They take about 20 minutes to put up, put together. They're extremely easy to use. You need no specialized skills or knowledge or tools to assemble and use a solar cooker. It's very, very easy to just point at the sun and learn how to use. Menzies has put together a solar caravan traveling throughout Southern Africa. The crew is distributing solar technology and trying to reach people in some of the most remote places on the continent. A caravan is in the sense of the old silk caravans, as in people taking spices from India all the way to Europe. They weren't just taking spices, they were taking information, they were swapping stories, and it was bringing a cultural togetherness. So we want to do the same thing with solar technology in Southern Africa. In 2009, the government of Botswana put out an urgent call for solar energy projects that tap into the 315 cloudless days per year. If this stable democracy of 2 million people manages to capture only a small part of that energy, the future of the environment and the people will be very bright indeed. You don't have people without the environment. You don't have an environment without people. To be promoting technologies that can actually assist people while helping the environment, I couldn't imagine doing a better thing. I couldn't imagine it. There's simply nothing I would want to do more than what I'm doing right now.